Yo, what is up everybody? It's Out of Order. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, this is a different kind of video, guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you some, I'm gonna be showing you 10 popular effects for After Effects. So let's just get right into it. So I have a clip right here. This is the first clip. As you can see, guys, it's just a basic clip. I also added a color correction too. And uh, if we go down here, you'll see that I got Z depth on. So we got the world layer. We got the gun green screened out. And we got the Z-Depth layer. So I'm just going to be showing you 10 popular effects in After Effects. Some of them are plugins. I'll link them all in the description down below. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into this. So this is just the first clip, you know, no, no effects apply, nothing really cool. But let's go on to the next clip. This right here is uh, Universe Prism Displacement. This is part of the Red Giant Universe uh, plugin pack. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It looks a lot like uh, S Distort RGB or S Distort RGB Chroma. But this is a really popular effect that I see a lot of editors use. It's not really any, it's nothing too crazy or anything, but it certainly is a cool effect to use on your edits. Next effect I'm gonna showcase is Polytrace. This is by uh, Cinema Spice. Uh, it's similar to Glitch. It's made by the same people that made Glitchify. But uh, I really like using this effect because it's really, it's not really a common effect. You don't see a lot of editors use it that often. But uh, it certainly is a nice effect. I like using it from time to time. And yeah, that's Polytrace. Next effect we're going to be looking at is Displacement Maps. So if you don't know what Displacement Maps is, uh, I have a whole video dedicated to Displacement Maps. But uh, it's really cool. You can do shockwaves with the uh, Displacement Maps. You can also change the background or the Z-depth of the uh, clip. And uh, I really like this effect. I use it a lot. Next effect we're going to look at is S-Warp Chroma. This is part of the Sapphire plugin pack. Um, this is a really popular effect too. I don't see it. It's not as overused as Polytrace, but it is a really good effect that I see a lot of editors using. Uh, it's really cool. It allows you to add uh, RGB splitting on the separate layers, like the little chroma layers. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like this effect. Next effect we're going to be looking at is Time Warp RGB. This is a very popular effect used by a lot of glitch editors. So yeah, a lot of glitch editors use this effect. They also use BCC Video Glitch and uh, Twitch and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, Time Warp is by far probably the most popular effect that they use. But uh, I really like this effect. I think it's nice. You guys should check it out. Next effect is Psycho Blobs. This is one of my favorite effects. I use this a lot in my uh, Hell I Still Need You edit. But uh, yeah, that's that's Psycho Blobs. Uh, I put it on the gun layer on this clip. But uh, it basically, uh, it, it's like Colorama, but better in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's Psycho Blobs. Next effect is Pseudo Color. Uh, this color is similar to Colorama and Psycho Blobs as well, except it doesn't really move as much. But uh, I really like this effect too because uh, it allows you to create sick backgrounds. And as you can see, the colors just look hella nice on here. But uh, yeah, so that's Pseudo Color, one of my favorite effects. And yeah. And probably the most popular effect and probably most hated effect on here is Glitchify. Glitchify, it is pretty hated by some editors. I know a lot of editors hate Glitchify. But honestly, I don't really have a problem with Glitchify. If you like Glitchify, then use it in your edit, you know? But uh, yeah, that's Glitchify. Uh, let's move on to the next effect. And coming in for second place at most hated effect is AE Pixasaur. This effect is also kind of hated by some editors. Uh, I really like AE Pixasaur. I used to use it in some of my older edits, but uh, it basically just sorts the pixels by color. And uh, it's a pretty nice effect. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I really like it. But uh, it is disliked by some editors. So yeah, there's that. But other than that, I would still use this in my edit. And coming in at our last effect that we have for today, we have Esquint Rainbow. Now another really popular effect that a lot of editors use. I prefer Esquint Rainbow over regular Esquint, but then again, that's just me. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed these 10 popular effects and after effects. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to stick around. I'll be making more editing videos in the future, so subscribe to stick around for that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys. Peace out.